Well, she's worked her magic on Dwayne Wade, Kevin Garnett, Chelsea Handler, and Lady Antebellum. And today, professional makeup artist Candace Corey is here on Connecticut Style with tips for you as well as you and your guy plan for a romantic Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for being here, Candace. I'm here We're to share all my secrets. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> You've been kind of fixing me up throughout the show. It's been absolutely wonderful. So where do we start to have a romantic Valentine's Day? The first thing I would suggest is to relax because a lot of times we're coming from work and we're stressed out. So throw a candle on. I really suggest those that are like vegetable based ones. This one is oh. by Origins. It has like ginger in it, which kind of relaxes you. Yeah. And then that way you kind of like, you, you start off fresh, you know. That's good because you don't want to start right at, at the end of the day, right? Yeah. At the end <laughs> stressed of work. Out. So this probably clean, uh, burns a lot cleaner too, I would assume. Right, it does because actually those that are not vegetables sometimes can be a little toxic because you're not sure what's, you know, in there. Right. So, so take a breather right off yeah, the bat. Take a breather, a relax. Take some me time. <laughs> and then take care of your skin. One of the first things I usually suggest is exfoliate because you don't want to show up trying to be up close and you have dry patches. So exfoliate. Okay. This one's by Lamar, which has like almost two carrots of diamonds in it. So it's not going to be chips of things. Ooh. It's going to actually smooth the skin off. Well, I know that they have a very fancy face cream that all the movie stars right. use. So this is now a, a body, what is Body it? polisher. It's okay. like exfoliator. But the difference is, is like because of the fact that it's diamond dust, it's not going to scratch the skin. Okay. It's going to be very soft and smooth. So there's a two carat ring in there, technically? Wouldn't it be great? I would okay. just like throw it in the back of my hand. All right, right? And just like walk around. <laughs> And then make sure right when you get out of the shower where your skin's still damp, dry mm -hmm. off, and then, of course, put a moisturizer on. Sometimes, because it is kind of still chilly, sure. you know, your skin kind of gets red. I suggest something that has chamomile in it, like the uh, Dial Nutri Skin, because it's going to soothe those areas. Because you don't want to just hydrate. Okay. You want to make sure your skin's not irritated later. You want it to lock in. It has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. So you want things that's going to take care of your skin, okay. but also calm it. So by the time you're... Up close, you're not going to have reddish areas because your skin is... Irritated. Now, you should put this on right after you towel off so your pores right. are still open. Is well, that the, the, the whole idea? point is that your skin's still plump. Okay. So when you're putting a moisturizer on, it, it just locks it in and it gives it extra oomph. Right. So it, it helps it out. And it doesn't matter if it's the expensive kind or you could no, buy it I mean, at the drugstore. Drug store. It doesn't, okay. ha doesn't have to be expensive. So relax. Get soft. Mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> Next. Take care of your roots. If you're up yes. close, you don't want to even see though that. You, yeah, you don't think about it, you don't want him to see that. It's very distracting. So make sure you color your hair. You can get one very simple from like Clairol that, that you can just put in. This one has like regular uh, red colors, which our model has red in it, which red's very nice and very sexy. You could do this yourself. You could do it you yourself. You have to make an appointment. No, the good thing about this is the fact that even if let's just say you have to do like a chemical treatment, uh -huh. you can actually use this immediately after. Sometimes you have to wait several because it's semi permanent. Okay. Okay. So it's like the beautiful collection. It's very simple to throw it on. You don't have to be wow, a chemist. That's great. You don't have to be a pro a stylist. Touch up here and there. That's awesome. What a <laughs> yeah, piece very, of cake. very simple. Okay. Now, one of the tips I do this all the time is when yes. you are doing your hair mm -hmm. to get this like sexy wave, mm -hmm. don't make your hair too perfect. Okay, when you make your hair too perfect, it's mm -hmm. not you don't feel like you're approachable. So to get this wave, when you curl your hair, go in different directions. And I think that this gives it more of a natural wave look. Okay. And this is actually what I do in a lot of the celebrities and things like that to make it look like you got that sexy natural oh, wave. You just got off hair. the beach. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and if your hair is hard to curl, spray your hair before Oh, and, and then after. put the curling iron on. Right, and okay. then after, so it locks it in. And I would suggest a light spray. This one's by Sebastian. You don't want something heavy. Okay. That I mean, it touches it, crunches. Crunching is not sexy. It's not romantic at all. You want all it right. so he can touch your hair, but it still stays put. Got it. So your hair looks good, and then your body feels good. Now it's time for makeup. All right. A lot of times people think that we can go for a heavy color. You want him to feel like he can kiss you, he can touch you. So soft pinks are great. All right. The, the spring collection by NARS has like a lot of pinks. Now this pink gloss gives you more of a feminine kind of look, and she has some on her lips. It's, it's a very That's pretty. It's a very natural look. It's very pretty, too. It makes you want to kiss her. You know, <laughs> which is what you want. You know, <laughs> That's the goal on Valentine's Day. <laughs> has a little pink. It has a yeah. little gold. Oh, flex it's very in it. inviting. Isn't that pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, another tip that I suggest too mm -hmm. is that don't put a lot of color on your eyes if you're going to have more color on your lips. So do one or the other. You right. Don't do smoky okay. and then heavy color on the lips. You just look like a whole makeup counter, which you don't want that. <laughs> so keep it very clean. We did a little bit of the pencil from Nars, which has a little shimmer. If you notice in the inner corner of her eyes. Okay. And what I suggest as well is to do two, two different kinds of mascara. Do a thickening one on the top, which kind of lifts the eyes, kind of okay. gives that little bit of a cat effect. And then on the bottom, do a lengthening one. So wow. you still have... It almost looks like she has false lashes on. Right. That's how long your lashes look. Right. They look great. Now, a good trick also is if you want to do false eyelashes, put like a couple on the outer corner that also gives like a little lift, yeah. which is also a little secret that people don't know. Yeah, more natural <laughs> in the whole strip of right. that. Okay, well, what's next? Another thing I suggest, yes. most likely she's going to wear a fragrance. Don't necessarily wear perfume. This one's by Beautiful, which is an eau de toilette. 
so it's a little lighter. Because you have to remember, okay. you guys are going to be up close, body heat's going, you know, well, he, he doesn't want to have a fragrance, so. you have a fragrance, <laughs> you guys are killing each other with fragrances, and the food tastes like your fragrance. Okay, so I get it. So go with something light, and with a guy, go with something crisp. This one is by Happy for Men. So you want something light for a okay. guy and for a girl. Now for guys, yes. one of the things, since they don't wear makeup, mm -hmm. to go with something first with your teeth. When you're up close, dull That's huge. Teeth. A smile, a teeth, oh breath. Oh my goodness, that's yes. Big, that's very important. <laughs> I would suggest something like a whitening toothpaste, like Crest 3D, which you can use. Actually, piggyback that with a strip. A lot of times, you don't think you can. Oh. But if you piggyback with a strip, a lot of times, the whitening ones take like a week to even show up. Sure. But with a, like piggybacking with a strip, you immediately see it. Great. So then that way, you get real white teeth, and you can, he can be up close, and he can like romance her. I look fantastic. Very nice. Good move. <laughs> Another thing I suggest as well is for guys to make sure you don't have dry patches. That means for your brows and for if you have any facial hair, mm -hmm. to make sure that if you're going to do a scrub or anything like that, did you make sure you get in between those areas as well? Because she can see if any flakes come off your brows. Right. So exfoliate. Yeah, same exfoliate. thing. exfoliate. Same thing. But it's okay to use products. I mean, I, right. sometimes men are afraid of this stuff, and they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. And I really suggest, too, that most of the time guys have more oily skin, mm -hmm. so use, like, a oil control. Okay. An uh, oil control uh, gel will do something that will kind of tone down the shine, and then he doesn't have to wear powder, but he doesn't look like he's dripping. You Good. Know? So Good just, like, a little bit of that will be fine. This one is, uh, who's that like? This one is by himself, which is just for guys. So then he doesn't feel like he's kind of with some guy girl product. It's a guy product. You don't product. have to go in the yeah, girl aisle at all. And all then right. after he does that, if you notice, he looks a little bit more tan. He does. A nice glow. That actually is a secret by bodybuilders. Bodybuilders do that. It makes the muscles. Is that right? Contour. Hmm. And if I didn't put any on his forehead. You notice how oh. pale he looks? But... Cover it up. You're <laughs> fine. You're fine. <laughs> with this self, oh, it looks like you just got yeah, off the beach, the both of you, with your hair. It's and his blue eyes are like popping because his skin looks yeah, nice and It totally rich. works. You could do a self-tanner. <laughs> This one is very simple. It's a moisturizer. You doesn't have okay. to do like a lot of steps. It's by uh, Sun Sauce, which is actually have used on Dancing with the Stars. So you Ooh. won't look orangey. Your skin will be nice really and nice tan. Though. And uh, last but not least, after you finish looking good, yep. romancer with some strawberries. See, some, this you would bring along. Yeah, you I think would, when you walk up to see her, you know, give her some Don't strawberries. Don't come empty-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call empty handed. I'm this telling is, you right now. <laughs> these are by Sherry's Berries. I mean, look how big these are. Those they're are like, great. Yeah, they're well, huge. Candace, so it's very sexy. Uh, we're out of time, but I want to thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and all of your tips, they're very helpful. I hope everybody listens. Uh, and we'll have more information on our website. But as for right now, don't go away. There's a whole lot more Connecticut style.